welcome to my material UI design crash course and in this course i'm gonna be taking you material UI design from the beginning to the end from a beginner to a professional in designing web pages with material UI design what is material UI design material UI design was developed by google for web and mobile applications material UI design is a design framework used to build responsive, stylish, and interactive pages. In that regard, it can be compared to Bootstrap or jQuery UI. Who uses Material UI design? iFit, i5Work, Dropbox, and many more. Now, before we move on, I'm going to be showing you these sites on the web browser to see how the design looks like with Material UI design. So we'll just jump over to our browser. Now this is a site in iFit which uses material UI design. And I'm showing how a website can look when develops material UI design. As you can see, they have clean and and responsive web pages. And I, and I really love this site because it's 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 awesome. It's awesome. And the next site we have is Dropbox. Dropbox 2 was developed with Material UI design. Nice buttons, typographies, and colors. And of course, we have Google. And this Google AdSense site was so developed with Material UI design too. With clear design. And I'm just going to show you how responsive the site can be. So I'm going to go to a mobile view. And this is a mobile view. You can see it's still as responsive as ever. It's very responsive. So now that's um, what you can do with the site that is built in Material UI Design. Okay, so we we'll just go back to our slideshow. Okay, so what are we going to learn in this crash course? First of all, we're going to learn about components. And material UI design components we have layouts, inputs, navigation, surface, feedback, and so 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 much more. Then we we'll move to styles, which are basically like CSS styles, but a little bit interesting, <laughs> I guess. So now we we'll move to systems, which are basics, the basics, borders, display, flexbox, palette, and positions. And of course, we're going to learn a little bit of React and React JS. Because so we're going to be using like some states and stuff like that, and so much more. And again, in that case, we're going to learn functional component. I mean, like writing functional component throughout this course, nothing like class based components. I'm going to be using functional components. I'm going to learn so much more again, which um, I can't really list everything here. So, next up, um, we're going to be setting up our environment. So, um, in the next video, we'll be taking a course on how to set up your environment like installing all your dependencies which creates react app installing the libraries material your icons the core the styles the pickers and then we'll be installing some um, some plugins too on our um, text editor so um before we're gonna let me show you something so i'm going to be using visual studio code for our text editor and um, i really recommend this an editor to put our following this course is a very nice editor and it has a lot of plugins. So before the next video, I recommend you download it and have a deb a deb file for Linux. And I get those have Windows too. You can get which on your operating system and see if it's Mac OS. I really recommend this text editor, it's very great and that we're going to be using throughout this course. Thanks for watching.